everybody. This is Kendra. I was asked about some recipes, so I am sharing some. I make sure everything is organic, by the way, or non-GMO, so FYI. Um, I really love this homemade chicken and dumplings recipe. It's from, hmm, I don't know where it's from, but anyway, what I really love about this is I don't have to make the dumplings. You just get a can of biscuits and towards the end of the cooking cycle, you just put them in, like you cut them up and put them inside and then you will boil it for like 15 minutes or so. Make sure there's air between the biscuits at the top and let them kind of boil like a dumpling, I guess. Anyway, um, and they'll cook, it's really yummy. So I have not found any biscuits that I can use in this that are um, gluten-free and I haven't attempted to make any gluten-free biscuit dough to use in this because I really like easy stuff and for a lot of like recipes and things like that. But you could also, it has a recipe for dumplings on here. You can absolutely make this gluten-free if, if you wanted to. So a way to make this also where it is like dairy free you could use just like vegan butters i would watch out though with vegan butters because of seed oils which have been linked to high inflammation in the body and high inflammation in the body is linked to autoimmune issues gut issues um a slew of other issues so if you wanted to make something without dairy like if it's milky this doesn't have any kind of milky thing in it except for the dumplings, you could always use a non-dairy option. And there is a nut pod, it's called nut pods, and it's the yellow and white carton, and it's just almond and coconut, and it's a cream, right? It's um, in the refrigerated section, not, it's not normally on a shelf. It's so thick that if you're needing milk or a cream or something like that. And then like, if you wanted to use an almond milk, but that's too watery, right? Like that's just an example. You could get this nut pod creamer with almond and coconut, and it is a great substitute. It's fantastic. I love it, okay? So remember to be creative in the kitchen and you don't have to do everything that the recipes say and you can substitute things out, kind of like what I'm talking about, and it would still wind up tasting really yummy. Okay, if you value the content I create, please like, subscribe, and share. Bye.